Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful card effect using Elementor page builder. Here initially we can see only an image and the title and when we hover over on it we can see the details here like how many sizes are available, how many colors are available, also a beautiful button says buy now. I will show you how to create this beautiful card effect using Elementor page builder. I will just show you the idea how to do it then you can use it on your product cards or any other creative cards on your website. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section let's first click on this plus icon and I'm taking this three column structure. Let's first make the height to minimum height and I'm setting its height to 100 VH like this. Now let's add a background color with it. So from here background type I'm setting a background color that's hash 130640. Alright now inside this middle column click on this plus icon and here first I'm dragging an image widget. Let's now select the image. I will be using these three images and I will also put the download link of these images in the description. So let's first select this image click on insert media. Now just go under style tab and I'm making its width to 80%. Now underneath this image here I'm just dragging a heading widget here. So now I want it to say Nike shoes and here I'm making the HTML tag to H3 and let's make the alignment to centered. Now go under style tab first I'm making the text color to white color. Alright now underneath this headline I want to display the available colors and sizes. So to do it let's first click on this Rubik's cube icon and from here I'm dragging an inner section underneath this headline here. Let's now first delete one of these inner columns. Now inside this inner section click on this plus icon and here again I'm just dragging a heading widget here inside the inner section. First I want it to say size and then here the HTML tag I'm making it a span. Now go under style tab from here I'm making the text color to white color then from typography I'm just making the font weight to 300. Let's now go under advanced tab from here unbind the margin because only on the right side I'm adding 5 pixel of margin. And now if you scroll down from here open the positioning and I'm making the width to inline auto. If we don't make this width inline auto we cannot make the buttons aligned on the same line. Alright so now click on this Rubik's cube icon and I'm dragging a button widget under this size text here. Now the text I wanted to say 8. Let's make the alignment to centered and icon spacing I'm making it 0. Now go under style tab from here I'm making the text color to black color and the color this is the background color I'm making its color to white and then from here let's unbind the padding. Now only at the top and bottom I'm adding 6 pixel and on the left and right I'm adding 10 pixel of padding. Now let's go to the advanced tab from here unbind the margin and here on the left and right I'm adding 5 pixel of margin. And you know to make it in one line with this size text we need to make its position. Let's make its width to inline auto. Perfect. Now just simply duplicate this button. I'm duplicating it couple more time. Let's duplicate it once again. Now the second one I'm making its text to 9. Then the next one let's make it 10. And the last one I'm making it to 11. Okay now I want to make this whole thing centered aligned. So to do it just click on this column icon. And from here make the horizontal align to center. Now I want to make another inner section for the color so we can just simply duplicate this inner column so duplicate it. Now here first instead of size I want it to say color and from here let's just delete all these buttons. Now let's just edit this existing one button. From here first I'm just removing the text I want to keep the text empty. And now from here icon go to icon library and here I'm searching for circle. Here you go just select this one and click on insert. Now let's go under style tab. From here first I'm making the font size to 24 pixel 
and then let's make its padding to zero so first i'm linking it and let's make zero all together now from here the background color i wanna make it transparent so drag this bottom bar to the left and here is the main text color or the circle icon color okay i'm selecting a bluish color for the first one and then let's just duplicate this button and duplicate it one more time so for the second button here go under style tab let's change the text color to a greenish color and then the third one go under its style tab and from here the text color i'm making it a reddish color perfect okay now let's select this inner section go under its advanced tab now unbind the margin here at the top i'm just adding some negative margin that's minus five and at the bottom i'm adding 10 pixel of margin all right now underneath this inner section i want to add a button widget so click on this rubik's cube icon and from here i'm dragging a button widget remember i will place it under this inner section here here i just wanted to say by now and now go under style tab from here i'm making the text color to black color and then the background color i'm making its color to white and lastly, I just want to add border radius to 20 pixel. And you know, we can just make its alignment to centered. So we are almost done with the layout of this card. Now I just want to style with this column. So select this column. First, let's make its vertical align to middle. Now go under style tab. From here, background type, I'm selecting the gradient one. Let's now make the type to radial and here the first color i want to set it to white and i want to make it really very transparent like this now here the first color position i'm making it to 97 and the second color location i'm making it 77 also from here let's open the border because i want to add 10 pixel of border radius with this column now go under advanced tab First, unbind the margin. At the right and left, I'm adding 40 pixel of margin. Also, let's unbind the padding. Here on the right and left, I'm adding 20 pixel of padding. And at the top and bottom, I'm adding 50 pixel of padding like this. And you know, I wanna make these corners a bit more visible. So just go under style tab. From here, location, instead of 97, we can make it 94 so now we can see them properly all right so now my goal is initially we will be showing this image and the title only and when we hover over on this then this sizes color and the button option will reveal so to do it first i want to add some motion effects with this two intersection and with this button so first let's select this intersection go under its advanced tab from here open the motion effects now from entrance animation here i'm selecting the fade in up option also here i'm adding animation delay to 300 ms now let's select the second intersection this one go under its advanced tab do the same with this motion effects and here i'm also adding the fade in up effect and here let's add the animation delay to 800 ms now let's select this button go under its advanced tab open this motion effects with this also add entrance animation to fade in up but with this one i want to add animation delay to 1000 ms that's one second now here is the important thing we need to add a class with this button and these two inner columns not inner columns with these inner sections so let's first select this first inner section go under its advanced tab and from here css classes i'm adding a class name that's hide dash first remember you need to write exactly this class name hide dash first otherwise it won't work so from here i'm just copying this class name let's select the second inner section go under its advanced tab and paste the css class name here also with this button just add the css class name here as well we are almost done we just need to add a bit custom css so to apply it select this column first go under its advanced tab and from here open the custom css field 
by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this now inside this custom css field we can simply write down the css code or we can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will also put this pages link in the description from that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see product card animation css let's just copy this whole css snippet from here so i'm selecting the css snippet now go inside elementor and paste the css snippet here i'm explaining this css code very shortly but before that have a look how it's working so initially we can see only the image and the title and when you hover over on it we can see here the size color and the button is appearing here also the image has got bigger and it's rotated nicely Altogether, it creates a really great illusion all right now very quickly let me explain these css snippets so first here you can see i have selected the selector selector basically means the element or widget we have selected so as we have selected this column this means the selector is this column so here first i made its height to 400 pixel now here if we set the height to 600 pixel you see it's now becoming more longer but i don't want that so here i'm again setting it to 400 pixel and then here you can see this is the css that is responsible for this hide and show option like you may remember we have added the hide first class on those three elements the two inner sections and with the button so here first i'm making their display to none and when you hover over on this column then they are appearing like initially we cannot see them but when you hover over on the selector we can see them here also you see when you hover over on it the image is becoming bigger and it's rotating that code is coming from here you see selector hover then i made this images transform to translate also i made the rotate to minus 25 degree now have a look if you change to 25 to let's say 15 or just 5 you can play with it the way you want but i want to keep it to minus 25 pixel not pixel it's minus 25 degree and then here this one is scale 1.4 this option is responsible for this zoom in effect so now have a look if we hover over on it you see it's scaling on 0.4 basis now instead of 1.4 if you make it 1.9 it will become more bigger but i don't want that i want to keep it 1.4 i'm just showing you how you can change the values the way you want and lastly this code snippet is responsible for mobile device i have done nothing crazy here i just made the scale value to 1 because on the mobile hover i mean when we will tap on this card I don't want to make this image too much bigger so i just made the scale value to one it's simple like that so that's it they are looking great on desktop device right now let's now have a look how they are looking on tablet and mobile device so to check its responsiveness from here click on this responsive mode let's first click on this tablet icon so you see we need to reduce the left and right space from the tablet device so make sure you have selected the column now from top go under its advanced tab and open the advanced let's now unbind the margin now on the right and left i'm adding 10 pixel of margin also let's unbind the padding here on the top and bottom i'm adding 50 pixel of margin and on the left and right i'm adding only 5 pixel of padding now they're looking great on the tablet device now let's go to the mobile device here on mobile device they're looking great but you know on mobile device there is no hover option but when people will tap on this card they can see all these available options but i think we can just add some space at the top and bottom of this whole section so just select this section go under its advanced tab unbind the padding and at the top and bottom i'm adding 80 pixel of padding so they are looking pretty good on mobile device also on the tablet device and also on the desktop device but to make it triple sure we can duplicate it couple more time to give it a real look so i'm duplicating this column one time also let's duplicate this column now we can remove the empty column from the right side also let's remove this empty column from the left side and now if you want you can simply change these images from here so for the first one i'm changing this image with the green shoe now select it and with the third one 
let's select this image i'm selecting the red one click on insert media so they are looking great and don't worry about these whitish backgrounds i mean whitish layers sometimes they show only inside the limiter page builder but when you will see it on the real website you cannot see these annoying white areas all right so when you are done don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work and to preview it on the real website we can just simply click on this preview changes eyeball icon here let's now have a look how they're looking on the real website they're looking really great the design looks super clean and the hover effect looks super smooth i really like it all right now let's say if you want to add more option with this card like if you want to add some options like when you hover over on these color buttons the main image will change accordingly i already have tutorials on that if you want to change the images when clicking on these color buttons then you can watch this tutorial so this is it for now i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i'll upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you on the next video for now bye bye